right, kids, get ready, because Scrabble Guy is going to point out the five fatal flaws that will destroy your game and not give you any chance of winning. Number one, you must leverage your tiles. You must leverage your tiles. Number two, don't misplay your blank. That's the biggest mistake players make, misplaying their blanks. Number three, misplaying their S. The S is the ace. you got to use it for maximum points. Number four, placing vowels next to premium squares. That's fatal. You cannot do that. You cannot set up your opponent for big, huge, massive scores. Number five, holding on to the junk. You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them. Well, thank you, Scrabble Guy. I'm glad to help. Okay, let's look at number one. All right, here's fatal flaw number one, not leveraging your tiles. We don't have the best rack here, and quite often you're not. You're not going to have the best rack. You've got to take the tiles you have and maximize their potential. You have to find locations that will get you the most points while at the same time balancing your rack and playing for future bingles. Here's a great example. I'm going to play Vum for 29 points. That's huge. The face value of those tiles is 8 points. So I have almost four times the value by knowing these simple little words. Look at the rack leaf, tort. I have leveraged my tiles here for maximum points as I build towards better plays. You must leverage your tiles. All right, it pains me to do this, but watch this. A lot of beginning players don't know how to properly play the blank. The blank is the wild card, it's the joker. It'll let you play bingos. It's the reason for living in Scrabble, okay? So here's a rack, it's not a very good rack. There's a few words on here like veg or ego, or if you know the threes, V, V, E, E is good. Eve, E, V, E, these are all good plays. There's really nowhere to play them for more than maybe 10 points or so. So here's what some players do. They'll go like, hmm. Egos for 14 points, 14 points. You've got to get a bingo early on, save it. 46, 50, 60, 70, 80 points. This is a complete fatal flaw in Scrabble using the S for anything other than a huge superstar, super rack star Scrabble guy play. You can't do this. You cannot do this. Look at this lead. That's terrible. Let's say we go like this. E, V, E, S. I've seen this before too. That's 18 points Scrabble guy. That V instead of the G. That leaves E. This is foolish. Do not use the blank for anything other than a bingo early on, you've, you've got to score 50 points with it. Okay, so I'm going to do this just to, because it hurts. Ah! Oh! Oh! Well, look at this. Serves me right, but you'll be better for it. Alrighty, let's look at Scrabble Guy's five fatal flaws. Flaw number three, misplaying the S. Watch this. I've got this beautiful rack here, right? And here's a decent play. Get some points, 25 points. Pretty good leave, right? Okay, I've seen this done. Have you ever done this? I've seen this. This is stunning. Miss for 14 points. Terrible leave. Do not misplay your S. S's are like aces, okay? They're not wild, they're not jokers. It's the next best thing. You use them for hooking and bingos and maximizing your points. Don't do this. Do not use your S. This is a waste of useless S. Sets up a double-double. That's a waste. Waste, waste. Do not waste your S. Do not misplay your S. You will never win at Scrabble. You will never become a rack star, Scrabble guy, superstar playing like this. Don't do it. So we're going to recall that. Ditch is the play to make. Keep that for when you can get more points. You play it off the Z, and that's how you play winning Scrabble, right here on ScrabbleGuy.com. You want to avoid some grief? I'll show you how to avoid some grief. Don't place vowels next to premium squares. Double word. The F now is worth 16 points just by itself, times two both ways. 32 point play. Well, gee, Scrabble guy, look, you're setting up your opponent for a triple-triple. Fair enough. However, statistically, this is only worth about minus five points. So I'll go ahead and take the 34, leave an RE on my rack, good rack management. I'll take the points, block my opponent from taking advantage of that. What if my opponent had a Z? 
right? Now he's get, getting 70, 80, 90 points. I'll make this play. Do not place vowels next to premium squares. Bad for you, good for your opponent. Another winning Scrabble secret. All right, time to get serious for just a moment. Fatal flaw number five, holding on to the junk. Check out the rack. Okay, three E's, two U's, a Y, and a blank. I like the blank, everything else not so much. Remember, I've got to score at least 20 points with three tiles to make this worth holding on to. My best play is I, E, Y, E. Where do I put it for points? I don't see anything. Now, this is huge. Check this out. Already on the board, one, two, three, four, five E's plus three on my rack. So eight out of the 12 E's in the game have been exposed. There are 62 tiles left. That means there's four E's. Four out of the 62 tiles are E's. That's one out of 15. I've got to keep at least one E. So I'm going to exchange because I'm not holding on to the junk. We're going to swap. Watch this. Dumping an E, dumping an E, dumping a U, the U, the Y. I'm going to keep the blank in the E. That's my best play. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom! Another winning Scrabble secret. I like this. I like this a lot. And you will too.